Hey everybody, have you ever wondered what breakfast was like at Kentucky Fried Chicken in China? Echo and I have the answer for you now. Oh, that is such a good cup of coffee. So, I said to you, Echo, I want to experience Chinese breakfast. So I'm all excited, waiting to go to an authentic Chinese restaurant. Can you take me to... Kentucky Fried Chicken. What is that all about? Well, they have good breakfast. That's why we are here. Well, I can see that. There looks like there's a lot of great stuff, so I'm not going to mess around anymore. Take another sip of coffee, and let's get to the breakfast. What do you say? Yeah, well, I'm trying soy milk. So soy milk and coffee. Enjoy your coffee. All right, before we get going on uh, breakfast, I want to make yes. a comment about the coffee. What do you think? Coffee's great. It's really good, and it's about a buck and a half American, cheaper than Starbucks or any of these other really you know, snooty coffee places. So I'm, I'm all about coming here. I like saving a buck, and it's good coffee, and right. same size and everything, so it's good. Right, and the soy milk is good, but uh, for me, it's a little bit sweet. Uh -huh. um, of course, I prefer not sweet, of course, not really sweet enough. So, God. Yes, yeah, but it's still good. It's still good. So, uh, what do we have for breakfast? Shall we let's, move to yeah, let's look at some. So, the first thing is congee. All right, so. Congee, what is that exactly for our people in America may not understand what that is? Well, I would say it's soup with rice. Okay. And other ingredients. Yeah. All right, so today I ordered a preserved egg with pork. So, preserved egg with pork. Sounds good. Like Looks good. Yeah, well, do you know the reputation of preserved egg? No, why don't you tell me? Well, it is at the one of the most disgusting food of the world. What does that mean? You think it's disgusting? Or who, no, who I'm it's not. Disgusting? I'm not. I don't know those uh, Westerners or foreigners who don't have, who don't live in China. They those Westerners. Yeah, you have to be careful of them. Yes, go ahead. Yes, so, yeah, but we, lo we love it. Yeah. I, as a Chinese, we have different ways of cooking and the country is one of the, one of the way. And you can have a look. Can you see Alright, yeah, why don't you give a Westerner a taste and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, Are you going to feed me like okay. a baby or can I do it Yeah, myself? yeah, yeah, of course. Go Thank go. you. You're not that old. You're welcome. Mmm. Oh, come on, can you? Good. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Is that the egg? Yeah, yeah, this is a pretty good egg. Mm -hmm. Show, show, show. Yeah. Good. Mm. It's really good? Yeah, oh how much is this? I don't know. It's no, like... I don't it's cheap, this whole thing. Yeah, it's cheap. Like, the, the total food is like, I think it's around 50 steak. Something right. like that. Yeah, like 8 so, bucks, 8 dollars. Yes. So All right, what else do we have here? And that, uh, do you want to open this one? No, you go ahead. Oh, okay, this is a uh, rice You're so much more talented than I am. <laughs> yeah, like opening a rice roll. Thank yeah. you. Uh -huh. So this is a rice roll. And the inside is like a uh, salted yolk, or what do you call the egg yolk? Yeah, the egg yolk. Yolk. Yeah, the yellow part. Yeah, and then they have some pork stuff and the, cri sure. the crispy thing. I don't know how to say it in English, but... There's something crispy in there? Yeah, so okay. this outside is a black sensor. And then, so now, let's open it. Are you try this one. Okay, so... I just want to because make as, a, as a Chinese, I mean, does it taste like Chinese food to you or mm -hmm. Western food? Mm -hmm. Chinese. It's mm -hmm. Chinese food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rustle. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And it's quite sweet. Mm -hmm. And then you can see the cucumber. I haven't have a bite of it, but it it is the taste is really good and uh, it's really balanced. Uh, flavor. All right, incredible. Here we are at Kentucky Fried Chicken eating a Chinese breakfast. All right, what's next? Mm, the one to show everyone, I think, you are, this one you are familiar with. Yes, uh, I forget. Oh, it's like a churro, right? Yeah. 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 Except, uh, you know, like a churro, when we're in Mexico and we get churros all the mm -hmm. time. It has cinnamon and sugar on it. Mm -hmm. This one does not, but I've had it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's salty. 
Yeah, and I'm, you know, I've been on a strict diet, so I don't eat carbs. I don't eat okay. this kind of stuff, but I gotta tell you, once I take a bite of this, it's really good. You cannot stop. Especially with coffee. You cannot stop. Yeah. Yeah, but actually here, um, the, the popular way of eating it with soy sauce, mm -hmm. and then we have a cup, a cup of, like, soy milk. Mm -hmm. That's a perfect breakfast for me, at least. Sounds good. Let's move on to the next one. All right. This one you'll be surprised. Put your rice in there. Well, well, I open it much, much quicker than you. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow, that's sloppy looking. I like that. Yeah, it looks spicy, and which is this is um kimchi and beef. Oh, kimchi and beef, and uh -huh. there's an egg there. Yeah, there's an egg here, so it's like a sandwich. Uh -huh. So if you want to try it for this spicy? Sure. I'm not oh, a big fan yeah, of spicy. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So, yeah, I mean, people would love this in America. Really? No, yeah, yeah. It's um, almost tastes like um, like a chili burger or something like that you would have at any fast food place in America. Really awesome sandwich. Again, too many carbs for me, but that's just me. This is a great breakfast sandwich. This is one of the best breakfast sandwiches. Oh, well, really? I'm telling you. Uh, really? Excuse yes. me. Yeah, I think it's quite refreshing. Mm. It's a refreshing flavor. Of course, the kimchi is a little spicy, and then you have the beef. So it's really, really uh, very traditional, but then they make uh, the, with the Western way, of course, it's a sandwich as well. And I'm crazy about garlic. You can taste garlic in, um, and a lot of other spices in there. Really good, Echo. Next one. Great. So All right. This is this three stuff, uh, I should say four stuff. Uh, it's, it's today's breakfast. But they have so, a whole menu. Yeah, there, they right? have a whole menu. Of course, to all of us, we don't want to waste the food. So, yeah, this is what we order. And if you are in China one day, and please get up early to find any KFC you can find in your neighborhood. You can find anything like uh, you want to try. That goes right. You know, these places, many of them are open 24 hours a day. This one at the high speed train station in Qingshan, China is open from five o'clock in the morning till I think midnight. So she's absolutely right. There's a reason why I think Kentucky Fried Chicken is the number one fast food chain in China. It's because they've embraced the Chinese culture and food and they've done a good job so far, I think. Yes, exactly. If you go to check other brands, you'll find for sure uh, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. They have the most uh, various like uh, food like breakfast here. I'm, so find I'm, out sometime. I'm sorry, but I heard they have another bite. Yeah, I know. Someone said he wants mm. to wait. Uh, uh, well, well, yeah, I forgive you. Another day. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.